All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys um, the results of me using my washing machine 220 volt to charge my Tesla. And that, that's one of the questions that I had in my mind before I bought the car is how, how well uh, can my washing machine 220 volt uh, plug charge my Tesla? Do I need to buy a Tesla wall charger for 500 bucks or whatever it is? So um, I'm gonna show you guys the results of that. So what I have right here is an extension cord and my washing machine is actually on the other side of this door. And uh, I'll show you what I did. But anyway, so I'm using the, the 220 adapter, not the 120, of course. And it goes into this big heavy duty uh, extension cord. And the, my, my washing machine 220 is not the exact type of prong as this. So I did have to buy, buy an adapter. I would have showed you, but it's behind the washing machine. It was really hard for me to get to, so I don't want to pull it out <laughs> just to show you, but I will um, show you in this picture what uh, it looks like. Okay, so what I have is this extension cord that I have. And if you can follow the line, it's going to go through underneath my shoe rack. And it's going to go through the wall. So I actually um, drilled a hole through my wall uh, to access my um, 220 volt. And we'll come on to the other side. That's what it looks like coming through the other side of the wall. And you can hear my washing machine is just finishing up. And let me show you. I have a PVC pipe that I use as a conduit. And I wanna show you if maybe you can see it through the camera and why I didn't want to pull it out, but I have the adapter there. If you could see it, I'm, I'm hoping you can. I can't see it too well on the camera because I'm wrapped around my washing machine right now. And I'll come right out. And that's the way it looks. So this is just using the 220 volt that I, that came with the house that's hooked up to, well, it's not hooked up to my dryer because I'm using gas, but it's there. See from my screen using the washer, the dryer plug, the 220 dryer plug, I'm able to get 32, 32 amps, and that's roughly around 30 miles an hour. So it's working great. 